Good morning, family. In today's devotion, let's talk about today's thought. Everyone is important. Everyone has a special place. Today's thought comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 12 to 14, which says, For as the body is one and hath many members, and all of the members of that body being many are one body, so also is Christ. For by one spirit were we all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we are bond or free and have been all made to drink of one spirit. For the body is not one member, but many. Charles Plum, a U.S. Naval Academy graduate, he was a jet fighter pilot in Vietnam. And after 75 combat mission, his plane was destroyed by a surface-to-air missile. Plum ejected and he parachuted into enemy hands. He was captured and he spent six years in a communist prison. He survived that ordeal and he now lectures about lessons learned from that experience. One day, when Plum and his wife were sitting in a restaurant, a man at another table came up and he said, You are Plum. You flew jet fighters in Vietnam from the aircraft carrier, the Kitty Hawk, and you were shot down. How in the world did you know that? asked Plum. I packed your parachute, the man replied. Plum gasped in surprise and gratitude. The man pumped his hand and squeezed it as he shook hand and he said, I guess it worked. Plum assured him, it sure did. If your shoot hadn't worked, I wouldn't be here today. Plum couldn't sleep that night thinking about that man. Plum says, I kept wondering what he might have looked like in a navy uniform, a Dixie cap hat, a bib in the back, and bell-bottom trousers. I wondered how many times I might have passed him on the Kitty Hawk. And I wondered how many times I might have seen him and not even said, good morning, how are you? And anything else because, you see, I was a fighter pilot and he was just a sailor. Plum thought of the many hours that the sailor had spent on a long wooden table in the bowels of the ship, carefully weaving the shrouds and folding the silk of each parachute, holding in his hand each time the fate of someone he didn't know. You know, in the body of Christ, God has created each of us to be different, to serve different purposes. And even though we are different, God has designed a special place where each of us fit in and we are important. Our world teaches us that if you don't have the same social status, wealth, education, or power as someone else, that they may be better than you. Yet, this is a big lie. You are special and important, not because the world says so, but because God has said so. God has purposed that there is a special place that you belong in his kingdom and a special work you are born to do. Follow God's path for living. Treat each person as special around you because you don't know who God is using today to pack the very parachute that may save your life in the future. Come on, pray with me. Father, I thank you today that no matter what the world says, you have called and chosen me for your glory. Therefore, I am special. You have designed a specific place for me to find in your plans. And I am excited about doing your will in the earth. Teach me your ways and show me where and how I fit into your plans today. Amen. Remember to make time in your busy life to become a part of a good weekly Bible study group so that you connect with others, you build your faith, and you learn and grow together as a family. <laughs> because the truth of life is you can't succeed alone. Hey, if you enjoyed this, share it with your family, share it with your friends, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and page. Blessings.